name is Orang Dialame. I'm with iVisit LLC. And we, what we're going to show you here is a, a mobile to desktop video conferencing application we've created called iVisit Teleport. It will be launched this month. And what it enables you to do is essentially to communicate using presence, instant messaging, uh, push to talk, as well as multi-party video conferencing between mobile devices as well as desktops. Uh, this means PCs or Mac computers. My partner Tim uh, was the person who created um, the first internet video conferencing application called uh, CUCME in the 90s. So we've already had a lot of users enjoy our applications uh, on the desktop and now we're excited to show you what we have on the mobile devices. So as you can see here, uh, we're actually taking video from you <laughs> and um, you can uh, watch um, essentially yourself full screen. So as you can see, uh, this is live video or we can um, go to a multi-party setting and essentially have multiple people that can communicate. Uh, the user interfaces are very simple. You don't need a stylus, so um, I can turn on audio, <laughs> I can turn on my video, but and the camera is on this side, um, or I could uh, send photos, um, uh, high resolution photos. And if I'm in a multi-party setting, I can choose uh, automatic speakers and they will show. Yes, we're one of the first people who has this rich of set of capabilities on the mobile phones. We certainly hope so. One of our applications is actually for blind uh, users. We have a National Eye Institute project where uh, visually impaired users uh, use this as a way of getting remote assistance. So a visually impaired user, if they get off the wrong bus stop or if they need assistance with shopping, they take their phone and they connect to a family or the support person and that allows them to hear guidance and find their way home or to you know, uh, find the items they need. Uh, we also have integrated location-based services. So if I go to, if I had a GPS uh, coverage here, I could turn on my GPS button and anyone who was connected to me on the desktop could see my position live on Google Maps. And all of this will be available uh, at the end of this month.